na 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 Good afternoon, everybody, on the Video Gamer World War One. Thank you for watching this uh, video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and never the clan channel, please. You know, it helps out a lot. Anyway, sorry I've been posing a long time, guys. You know, I've been really busy with schoolwork, and I've been watching a ton of stuff, and I keep forgetting to charge my iPad that I'm recording on, so sorry about that. But anyway, I'm back. I'm going to make... I'm going to make two videos today. This is the first one. I also got a few new Doctor Who Blu-rays that will be uploaded a few minutes after this one. Maybe an hour. Maybe 30 minutes. I don't know. Anyway, I want to review Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection. This is something I've been wanting for a while, and I think it might be a Walmart exclusive. Let me pull it up on my phone. Let me see. Let's see. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Here's here it is. Uh, this is a blurry variant, but this is what it looks like, kind of the older set. Here, wait. I can just switch to DVD. Okay, so here's DVD set. Here's what it looks like. This is a repackaged version of this set. Uh, there, although there are some differences. That I first noticed upon purchasing the set. I think this is a Walmart exclusive. Get it while you still can. There we are selling it out fast. I was going to go order it online. Um, but it was out of stock. It ended up being out of stock. So I went to my local Walmart. And they had one left. So I picked it up. So I could review it. Anyway. Here it is. Universal Classic Monsters. Really cool set. You get the Invisible Man. The... Phantom of the Opera. I have not seen any adaptation of Phantom of the Opera. I have seen Phantom of the Paradise, which is awesome. Frankenstein's Monster, Frankenstein's Bride, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Wolfman, Count Dracula, and the Mummy. I have not seen any of these films yet, but I've wanted to for a long time, so here's right here. Here's a side. Uh, Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection. There's Dracula, the Wolfman, Frankenstein's Monster, and the Mummy. Top, Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection. To the bottom. This is 60 bucks, by the way. All 30 classic monster films from the studio that define the Hollywood horror genre. From the era of silent movies through present day, Universal Pictures has been regarded as the home of the monsters. The Universal Classic Monsters Complete 30 Film Collection showcases all of the original films, featuring the most iconic monsters in motion picture history, including Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Starring some of the most legendary actors, including Bela Lugosi, Children of the Night, My Blood Throws in My Veins, Welcome, Welcome, My Children. Portland's Karloff, Lou Cheney Jr., Claude Rains, and Ella Lancaster in the roles that they made famous. These films set the standard for a new horror genre with revolutionary makeup, mood, altering cinematography, and groundbreaking special effects. Featuring hours of revealing bonus features, these landmark movies define the horror genre and are still regarded as some of the most unforgettable characters ever to be filmed. I'm going to watch this sometime. I can't wait. There's Dracula, Frankenstein's Monster, The Mummy, The Wolfman, and uh, Frankenstein's Bride. Brian Frankenstein. Uh, surprising that they don't have the creature from the Black Lagoon or the Invisible Man or um, uh, the Phantom of the Opera. I want to say Phantom of the Paradise. Okay, so here are all the films. Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy, The Invisible Man, The Bride of Frankenstein, Werewolf of London, Dracula's Daughter, Son of Frankenstein, The Invisible Man Returns, The Mummy's Hand, The Invisible Woman, The Wolfman, The Ghost of Frankenstein, Invisible Agent, The Mummy's Tomb, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Phantom of the Opera, Son of Dracula, The Invisible Man's Revenge, The Mummy's Ghost, House of Frankenstein, The Mummy's Curse, House of Dracula, She Wolf of London, A Botan... Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, Abbott and Costello meet The Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature... Abbott and Costello meet the mummy, the creature walks among us. Hours of bonus features. Bella Lugosi, Borlas, Karloff, Lou Cheney Jr., and Jack Pierce featurettes. 13 expert feature commentaries. I don't really watch commentary. I don't really listen to commentaries that much. Archival footage, production photographs, theatrical trailers. If any movie has a theatrical trailer, I'm picking it up. And much more. Alright, so it looks like our ratings here. G, Creature from the Black Lagoon, and not rated. All other 29 films are not rated. Universal. Picture 
so this kind of reminds me of the Rankin Bass Christmas collection set that I got last year, which is very nice. So this pretty much has the same thing. Uh, one thing that I did, oh yeah, by the way, here's one way which is different. It has no booklet. And another way in which is it's different, I counted all the discs, there are no duplicates in this set. The older set had duplicates because they were repackages of, um, like, you know, you could buy them separately. Like, you could buy the Dracula set separately. You could buy the Frankenstein set separately. Nope, not this time. The, it just has single discs, no duplicates this time. So, here you go. So, whenever I got it, I decided to divide it amongst uh, each of the monsters. So, here's my Dracula, here's my Dracula section, here's my Frankenstein section, here's my Wolfman section, here's my Mummy section, uh, here's my Invisible Man section. Oh yeah, the sequels are double stacked, so there's a lot more here. Creature from the Lagoon section, and Phantom of the Opera section. Now, this has all the movies from the bigger set. One thing I noticed, though, Dracula, uh, this set does not include the Dracula m the movie in Spanish from 1931, and that set also had the Universal Horror documentary, that documented the early days of uh, Universal Horror. I might pick that up someday just to get the 1931 version, although I wouldn't be, although I wouldn't be a huge fan of double dipping. I uh, just wanted to let you all know, in case you all decide to get this, that that film is missing, but everything else is here. Which is really nice. So, yeah. So, it's over. So, yeah. Very nice. It's all black here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if, and I'll, oh. I did take pictures of the sleeve in the back. Sorry if y'all can't see that. It's really nice. It has Universal, but on the side you have the credits. Uh, I did get pictures of what it looks like. Okay, so there is, sorry guys, Dracula is 1 hour and 15 minutes, Dracula's daughter is 1 hour and 12 minutes, a lot of them are around 1 hour and 10 minutes to an hour and a half, sorry this is blurry guys, I, um, yep, yeah. there's another one, here's some more run times, Okay, so this is a pretty cool set. I will watch it, and then... Well, I've never done a ranking on my YouTube channel before. So, maybe whenever I get all these done, I can rank them for you all's... Rank them for you all? Well, okay. So, for my final ranking, all of this does not include the Spanish movie and the book like the original set did. I'm still happy with this set. I've wanted it for a while. It's 60 bucks. It's awesome. For 30 films... That's a great deal. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you in the next video whenever I review my Doctor Who collection. If y'all aren't interested in seeing that, uh, I'll see y'all next time. Um, maybe Christmas. I don't know. I'll to wait. Maybe, maybe on Friday, you know, I'm thinking about picking, like, Blood and Honey up. So I'll probably review that. So, all right. Bye, guys. See you next time.